Hello everyone and Happy New Year to you all. Welcome to Nello Stitches. So today we'll be learning how to cut and sew this gigot sleeve. So for the off area, the upper part, you'll be needing two yards of fabric or less, depending on how full you want it. And also you'll be needing your basic sleeve. So this is a long sleeve um, pattern. Alright, so guys, don't mind the look of this sleeve. I did not iron it because this is just a tutorial. So this is my long sleeve. So I'll measure the armhole area. This sleeve is on fold. So the armhole is 9, which is 8, eight inches, alright? So because it is um, on fold. So I'm just going to open this up. The right side, on the right side of the sleeve, I'll measure out the length of the, of the upper part where I want it to and so it is 12 inches here which is um the elbow length yeah the elbow length so i'll mark a line there so as to know where to pleat or gather my both um sleeve side the upper part of the sleeve all right so i have a tutorial on how to cut your basic sleeve in case if you don't know how to cut your sleeve so i'm using a mirror face material here and the the width is um 28 inches while the length is the whole length of the material you can use 30 inches or even one yard which is 26 i mean 36 inches all right so but I, what i use is 28 and then the whole length which is by 56 i mean 57 or 58 or thereabouts so as you can see here is um 28 so you fold your fabric into two savage to savage and then i'll fold in a triangular form like this all right so first of all i folded the fabric into two savage to savage like this and then i am going to fold again in a triangular form this way so the folded part and the open part are now together all right so I'm cutting a half circle. You can cut a full circle if you want. And then you divide by 6.8, 6.28, sorry. But here I'll be dividing my armhole into four. Remember the armhole I measured was nine and is on fold, okay? So, which is 18. So 18 divided by four or nine divided by two. What I have is 4.5. So I'll be marking my 4.5 here like this okay so if you want to pleat the upper part of your sleeve that is my armhole area if you want to pleat here the upper part of the sleeve or gather it you come down like this by two inches or 1.5 inch okay that is what you're going to do if you want to gather your sleeve so but what i just did is to measure my armhole all right which is 4.5 so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the length of my sleeve the length is 12 inches plus five inch extra all right so where i want my sleeve to end is 12 inches then i'll add extra five inches to give it volume at the down part so that it will be voluminous so i i am marking 17 inches right now all right the length of where i want my sleeve to end is 12 inches but i added extra five inches to it for it to have that puffy effect at the down part to be voluminous at the down part so that is why i add extra five inches to the length so now i'll be marking the length which is 17 inches so after taking it i'm going to connect all the points together and then i'll cut them out So if you want to make your full cycle, you fold your fabric into four and divide by 6.28. But this is a half cycle. So I just use the armhole um, circumference here. Okay. So now I'll cut the down part. Alright, so after cutting, I'm going to bring um, the, the uh, sleeve, the long sleeve. 
And then remember where I marked was on the right side of the sleeve. So the mirror face has a right and wrong side. Okay. So here is the sleeve and this is the right side. So I'll be placing them right side facing the right side, right side facing each other. Okay. This is the armhole side and this down part is going to be at the down side. You're going to gather it to that line. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to place it like this. Okay. You place like so, and then you're going to gather, you gather here. You're going to gather everything to fit into that space, your sleeve space. You gather the down parts of the flay, okay? So that when you turn it over, you'll be having that look on your sleeve. You gather everything. So right now, I am done gathering it, as you can see. So I'll just trim out the excess part. So you gather everything to fit into the sleeve space. All right. Remember I said you place them right side facing each other so that when you flip it, you have a nice finishing at the down part like you see now in the video. So what I'm going to do now is to pin this round, right, where we cut our armhole divide by four is where I'm going to sew up here. So don't panic. If you have excess there, you can still gather or pleat. It is okay. All right. It is okay to... um pleat or gather at the upper part so i'm going to pin them round and then i will take it to the machine and so all right so i'm just going to sew this way straight like this and then i'll be back so right now i have sewed the upper part the armhole side of the sleeve all right, so what I'm going to do now is to close this place up, this open edge, as you can see, is open. So I've closed this other side, so I want to show you how I will do this other side. So it's the same thing, you just sew it down. Just place it like so. Yeah, like this. And then you stitch it straight down. Okay, just like I did here, that is what you're going to do. You sew it down. And after which you shape your sleeve. So I'll go and do that and I'll be back. So I have shaped the sleeve using the sewing allowance I have, I already have on the sleeve. Okay. I added one inch sewing allowance. I've shaped the sleeve to with the sewing allowance I added. So I'm going to turn it out like this. And our sleeve is ready. So you just fix this to your blouse or your dress. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. We hit 50k plus subscribers and I am so grateful to you guys. Please like and share this video for more people to learn. And don't forget to like. It's very, very important. Like this video and subscribe if you've not done so. Join the family. See you guys in my next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.